Ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, members of the Roll the Tape film crew, the battle of wills are usually tested in the championship rounds. At least this is what we've heard as an old adage in boxing. Round number 11 and round number 12 are the championship rounds. But there is one other round that do not get publicized or the recognition that it deserves. Why? Because in this particular round that I am referring to, history has proven time and time again that in this particular round, preceding the championship rounds is where the battle of wills are usually tested and fights, major fights that is, have usually been won or lost. And I am referring to round number 10. Why? Because I believe that in the fight between Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford, that this fight will be a fight that will be won and lost based on the battle of wills. You've heard it first live in Living Color right here with your guy, Manager Marty. Something special is going to happen in this fight in the 10th round. And I'm going to prove that the 10th round is usually the round of the battle of wills and fights have usually been won or lost in that round preceding the championship rounds, which are known as the 11th and 12th round. Yep, I am referring to the 10th round. And these four fights that I am going to present to you is going to prove that the battle of wills have been tested and fights have been won or lost before even entering into the championship rounds. Once again, I'm referring to round number 10. Don't take my word for it. I'm doing way too much talking. Roll the tape. Sometimes great things happen in the 10th round in boxing. Here we got two undefeated world champions, Ricky Hatton, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Both going at it. Ricky Hatton was kind of losing this fight. But towards the two minute mark, you see Floyd lands a chef left hook. Goes into the neutral corner. Ricky Hatton beats the count. As he beats the count, Floyd comes out of the neutral corner and he's going to land two consecutive left hooks and then the right hand, swing the left, and then Ricky Hatton will go down. As you can see, he has no legs. That's the second left hook, right? Left hook again, Hatton goes down. Joe Cortez, the referee, calls this fight to a close. And all of this happened in the 10th round, two warriors, Jose Luis Castillo versus Diego Corrales. This was their first fight. You know, everybody talks about Errol Spence Jr. having the mouthpiece issue. Well, Diego Corrales, he spit his mouthpiece out in this round. Not once, not twice, but three times. Here you see the referee, Tony Weeks, calling Joe Goosen to the corner to give Diego Corrales his mouthpiece back as Castillo knocks Corrales down. Not once, but twice. And guess what Diego Corrales does for the second time? You guessed it. He took out his mouthpiece. Will this happen to Errol Spence? With his mouthpiece issue. When he steps into the ring. With Terrence Croft. All of this happened. In round. Number 10. And Joe Goosen steps back up. On the apron. 
And he says some very choice words to the Eagle Corrales. And guess what? The Eagle Corrales stood toe to toe, didn't back down. Yeah, he was wounded. Yeah, he was winded. But this round was a round that was the battle of the wills again. And guess what happened? He turned the ties on Castillo. Never giving in, never giving up. And he lands a vicious right hand and then the left hook right there on Castillo that hurt Castillo. Another right hand, left hand, right hand, left, right, left again. Tony Weeks steps in. And that's the third time that uh, Corrales spit out his mouthpiece. <laughs> but then Diego Corrales wins by technical knockout. As he got knocked down twice. That was the round. That was the battle of the wheels. And guess what round that was in? Round number 10. Let's take this fight. Let's take this fight for an example. Undefeated heavyweights. Holyfield versus Riddick Bowe. Big uppercut by Holyfield. Followed by a left hook and a right uppercut and another left hook, a right hand again. Holyfield was losing this round drastically. He was hurt out on his feet. But with one minute remaining in the 10th round, the battle of wills between both fighters were tested. Holyfield was not only losing this round, but he was also losing the fight. But he would not fold under pressure. He kept on fighting. Letting his second win kick in. And both stood right in front of him. And they both exchanged major blows. The jab pump. But a big right hand. Left hook lands. In response by Holyfield. Left hand lands again. With 10 seconds remaining and both guys standing toe to toe. Big uppercut by Holyfield. Left hook. Right hand by Holyfield. Right hand by Bo. And the round ends. And all of that happened. In round number 10. We can't forget about this fight. Because in this fight. Bomack and his cornermen were telling Terrence Crawford that he probably was losing the fight. This was round number nine. And you can hear Crawford saying, he up? They got him up on the scorecards? And so entering round 10, Crawford decided that he was not going to lose this fight to Sean Porter, that he was going to go out there and close out the show. And then he dropped Sean Porter with a counter left hand. Sean Porter did not appear to be hurt. And instead of Sean Porter looking at the referee who was counting, he was looking at his father. Needless to say, Crawford began to press the action. He began to be the aggressor. He made a decision that he was not going to lose this fight and that he was not going to allow Sean Porter to dominate with footwork and lateral movement. And so he wanted to apply pressure on Sean Porter and continue the counters like he just did. And he knocks Sean Porter down for the second time. And then Sean Porter was getting up. And the referee began to count. Kenny Porter, his father, steps up on the apron and called this fight a halt. 
Will Terrence Crawford do this versus Errol Spence Jr.? And let me notate this again, that all of this happened in round number 10. Yup. You saw it in four fights. The battles of wills between both fighters, champion and challenger, champion and champion, challenger and challenger. And I'm telling you that this fight between Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford might be won or lost in the 10th round. The battle of wills might be tested in the 10th round. And even if it doesn't happen in the 10th round, we know that both of these warriors, both of these fighters will have to come and give their all and leave it all in the ring. But I do believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that round 10, something of epic proportion, something that's going to show the greatness of the winner of this fight, and something that will show the battle of wills between both fighters will happen in round number 10.